So I just wanted to give a little bit of an overview in regards to our application software that we use to fly PowerEgg. So the splash screen where you'd hit start flying and that would access the actual interface itself. Our interface is extremely robust. It gives uh, examples of where you are. It gives you an overlay of the map. It gives you uh, your live camera view over in the left-hand corner, how many satellites you're connected to, battery life of the drone itself, battery life of your controller, as well as uh, options to control um, return to home, deploy the landing gear, how long you've been in the air. One of the things that makes a drone um, extremely popular and easy to use nowadays is autonomous shots, and we have those as well. For us, we use a couple of different uh, autonomous flight modes. One of them is going to be waypoint flying, which allows you to place points along the map and fly a very specific mission, so to capture the content that you're looking for. Within our software as well, we give the options of controlling just about everything, from camera control to gimbal control, to really uh, fine-tuning anything and anything about the drone to give you the best experience to capture that content that you're looking to share. Our other autonomous flight modes are very industry standard uh, circle mode, which will allow you to orbit around any one object, take a selfie mode where the camera will orient towards yourself, and of course, follow me, which is one of the more popular ones, where if you're doing an action sport or anything where you want the drone to follow you down a specific path. Um, uh, along the, uh, built into the software as well is the ability to control home setting, whether you want the drone to return to you, the uh, controller itself, or a specific point on the map. Um, it also shows you uh, live views of how high it is, how far away from you it is, how long you've been in the air. And of course, you can click on the, the picture down in the corner and swap the view, and this gives you full camera control. So stop, start, record, switch from video camera to still, control all the camera settings, whether or not it be ISO, a frame rate, 4K, 1080p, 30 frames a second, 60 frames a second. It's all built into the software, and it should be extremely easy to use.